Hi everyone, in this video we are going to learn some stuff about roles keyword. With this keyword you can easily include or exclude jobs in pipelines. It's very important to remember that you can't use both rules keyword and only accept keywords. If you attempt to use both keywords in the same job, the linter returns an error. It's also very important rules are evaluated in order until the first match when matched the job is either included or excluded from the pipeline depending on the configuration if included the job also has certain attributes added to it let's look at this example if you push your changes on master branch then the first if will match and the rest will be omitted what if you push your changes on develop branch and your login is not user2? Then the first two ifs won't match and the last step will be executed. And the last step is to not spawning the job. What if I am user2 and I push my changes on feature branch? Then this if will be matched and this job will be spawned, but it will be a manual job and it can fail. Now let's talk about rules attributes. From the previous example, you could see that we can add two attributes, when and allow failure. If a rule evaluates to true and when has any value except never, the job is included in the pipeline. I showed you examples with ifs, but you can also use clauses, changes and exists. With close if, you can add or exclude jobs from a pipeline by evaluating an if statement. With close changes, you can add or exclude jobs from a pipeline based on what files are changed. And with close exists, that you can Exclude jobs from a pipeline based on the presence of specific files. Let's see examples of these clauses. The first job, linter. By default, we don't create a job. We only want to create this job in merge requests, but only in this, which the name begins with feature. The second job, tests, we want to spawn only when something has been changed in app catalog. And the last job, we want to build an image only if there is a docker file. And here's another example. You need to remember that you can conjoin rule clauses. If the pipeline is a merge request pipeline, check if something has been changed in app catalog. So let's see if, if this works. Let's uh, firstly change something in uh, readme and create a merge request. And as you can see, the pipeline has, has not been created. And now let's change something in app catalog. And here's our job. The job has been spawned. And that's it. It's a very basic video about rules keyword. I'm going to create more videos about GitLab. So if you want to know more about pipelines, please subscribe my channel. And thank you for watching and see you next time.